Hey guys, it's Landros, and welcome to my Let's Play of The Sims 3 University Life. Now, I am really excited about doing this one. Um, first of all, for those of you new to me and new to my channel, hi, I'm really glad you're here. I hope you enjoy and stick around. Um, I do a lot of different LPs on The Sims 3, and I've just been doing these for a few months, so I'm a little new at all of this. Anyway, guys, I never played The Sims 1 or The Sims 2, so I have no idea what to expect with University. I've seen the producers chat, I've seen some of the things online as far as the trailers, but I'm clueless. And that's kind of fun, so you guys, if I make a lot of mistakes, I'm telling you right now, I don't know what I'm doing. But, I'm at least honest about it. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get, in, get into this. I'm going to go get started in just a moment, and I'll be back when we're ready to actually get into the town and get going. Alright guys, you're going to actually take a look at these sims and first thing if you've been watching my LPs you're going to say, but wait a minute, I know that one. And yeah, these are actually a couple of sims that I'm already using in some of my current LPs, but they're just going to be models for us to take a look at uh, some of the stuff that's actually going to be here available for us in Create a Sim. They're not actually going to be a part of our LP, so just I wanted to use them just to go ahead and show you what's available here. So we're going to start off with everyday outfits for the girls, and of course, you know, everything is right here at the top. is very nice and convenient. Okay, very nice. I like a lot of what I'm seeing right here so far. It's pretty cool. Um, different things that I will actually get to use. I love it when the outfits are already done, so it's just kind of nice for me being a guy. I don't really know what what I should be putting on some of the girls sometimes, so I can actually work with the guys. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like the back of that and everything. All right, I'm going to try to give you just a real quick look at basically everything that is here. I don't want to take an enormous amount of time, but I do want you to actually get a feel for it so you can kind of see it. Plus, it's going to help me when I sit down in just a moment to get the household ready. All right. Now, of course, it's all really good stuff. I see things that we could use for different things, not just for college, but you know, everyday outfits and as far as athletic. There's a lot of good options here. Okay, some of the color things, I'm not sure I'm buying all of it, but lots of new items. Okay, that's pretty good. That's actually uh, very studious, very nice. Okay, so of course, different recolors of everything, and I'm sure you can customize this to your heart's content, no matter what you want to do. All right, looking again here. Okay, I, that would probably be more of your scientist sim or your maybe your nerd sim, I would assume. Or no, that's actually your very artsy sim. That's probably what it is. Yeah, there's her, her paintbrushes and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Um, and we are going to have one of those. I don't know if it's going to be my girl or my guy. And I think this is for the plant sims. Wow. You know, that, that would be really cool as a costume if you wanted to use that too uh, for like spooky day and stuff like that. So it actually is pretty good. I like that. Okay, the rest of this, of course, is stuff that comes with other stuff packs. Let's go ahead and take a look at just what comes up on. Let me go ahead and get them something to wear here on the bottom so that it all doesn't look bad. Of course, with the um, with the females for every day, what, we, what we're going to have here, I've got a lot of stuff in here, guys. I've got every stuff pack, every expansion pack, and I've got a ton of store content. So it does take a while. So basically what you're looking at is, of course, um, just her bottom wear real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and just go through this really quickly so I can just kind of see what's out here and what's available. Okay, that's pretty neat. She's got her school, um, her school mascot or school <laughs> insignia there. All right, so let me just turn these to the side. I do like these. I like these all a lot. Um, so far, I've seen so many things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be spending a long time trying to figure out what to do. And you guys, if you've been with me through Create a Sim, you know it takes me forever. Uh, I usually don't. I try to rush through it when I'm with you guys, but... <laughs> on my own it takes a long time so I'm gonna do my best now those are some short shorts but I do like them I should have gotten the top off it'd be easier to see but we are going to see them again I promise you okay looking over here if it's still yeah actually I do need to get a smaller top here just so we can see it let me just go ahead and get this first one because it looks like it shows a little bit more and we can see it a little bit better alright come on now <laughs> it's, it's thinking about it it's like there's so much new stuff it doesn't know what to do with it all alright well it should come up in just a second but anyway you can actually see a lot of the other stuff that's already started to load here on the top and there we go okay yeah so I'm glad I did because I would have missed out on some of this okay going on back down let me go back where we were we were right here before and just kinda highlight those again alright come on this one I sometimes wish I didn't have all the store content mm -hmm. okay very nice okay of course these just kind of go through and you can see there's some patterns on the back of some of these as well so I do see a lot of things I would like to use I think this pack has a lot to rival um, some of the others I thought that late night and showtime both had a lot of clothing options but this one I think this one's got more usable things that we're, we're gonna be able to use because so far I mean I'm just seeing no end to this yet 
and lots of good combinations here. Okay, all right, now we're back over to the other one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put her in. Let's just put her in some jeans or, yeah, let's put her in some jeans so we can just take a look at the tops real quick. All right, looking over here, we've got, come on. <laughs> It'll take its time. All right, so we've got the same shirt that we're wearing. And, of course, you've got the different designs on it as well. Um, and, of course, I, like I said, I'm sure you can actually customize these and get the different colors you want. So it might be kind of cool to actually do that. I don't usually do it. I don't normally go in and customize the clothing. Um, every once in a while I will, but not over, uh, not that much. So I tend to just go with whatever's there and I just make do with it until I get tired of it and then I just want to go in and switch it. Oh, I like that. Okay, anyway, just continuing on more of the same and of course all these different combinations here. I like the little ties on the girls. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, and the little sweater, the sweater jacket. Okay, so we've got even more stuff. This is really nice. And I'm just I'm sitting here going, okay, now I'm changing my mind on all the characters I was going to create because now it's it's giving me a different opinion of what I wanted to do. But um yeah, I just I love the clothing. There's just there's so much of it. And all of it is actually something that I could actually see using in the game. And <laughs> we've got a llama there. Um so you got all your mascots from your different schools. I just think it's really good. Okay, uh, this looks like more like uh -huh. sportswear. Um let's go ahead and take a look. Oh yeah. So definitely some really good stuff. Okay. It's got the little iPod and everything on the side. That was pretty cool. Okay, very nice clothing here. Let's see. I just want to go through. Wow. Too many things that I'm just going to have to go through and choose from. It's going to make Creative Sim very difficult for me because, like I said, I have the hardest time choosing. But now it's just going to be just a field day trying to find what I like. This may be one of those one LPs that I actually have more than one everyday outfit. I may have to go in and make quite a few just because I like so many different ones. And I think you can have up to three different ones if you have uh, if you want. And I normally don't because mm. I don't take the time to do it. Mm. But with all these different clothing items, I think this would be the LP to do it. And I think I saw all of these. I think we went through these two. Just want to make sure so you guys get to see it. If for those of you who either don't have the game or are thinking about it, you can actually take a look and see what you're actually getting. And I just think it's fantastic to see all of this. All right, so man, tons of shirts, tons of t-shirts here that we're going to get to use. And it's so nice because we've been missing a lot of that in the game. I mean, there's been some. <laughs> it's like a little log cabin. Let's uh, throw up log cabin. That's too funny. All right, but yeah. Uh, what is it? Oh, okay, that's eggs and sausage. That is too funny. All right, so there we go. So that's basically what we've got for everyday wear. And looking over at shoes, let me see if there's anything that came. Oh, yeah, we finally got some shoes here, which is good. All right, let's go ahead and take a look real quick and see what we're working with. And I know that this first episode is going to be pretty heavy on Creative Sim, so I do apologize. I'm going to try to just turn around once I'm done and do an actual gameplay as well. That looked like it was more for the, it could be for the plant sims, but probably not. Um, got those nice boots. I don't know if you'd want to be trudging along in them, but that's all right. You can do it. All right, so very nice. We got different shoes to finally choose from. Oh, those are pretty cool. A little half boots. Okay. Wow. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's a bit extreme. <laughs> I don't really know that I'll be using those anytime soon, but if you like them, go for it. Okay, what about these right here? Okay, I could see using these, but these are for the plants, so you can actually tell that's for the plant sims. So I could see us using those for the, just the plant sims only. All right, as far as accessories, let's take a look real quick. We did get some new glasses, which this is another area that I tend to forego a lot, and I don't give them the accessories I need to. Um, oh, wow, I like these glasses. Of course, you can color them, and you can do all different kinds of things with them, but it looks like, is there anything else in accessories before I move on? Because I don't want to, I don't want to miss anything. Oh, I think this is it right here. Is that? Oh, I think that already came with. Um, that came with something else. Generations, I believe. So our new. I got to keep remembering. It's more of that orange, kind of like fire. Um, it's not that one. It is this one. So we got some earrings. Can't really see them too much because of her hair, but you did get new earrings with everything. And let's see what else did we get. Mm hmm. Okay. Nothing else so far. Okay. We did get some new arm jewelry, bracelets, whatnot. Come on, why can't you show me at a good angle? There we go. So you can actually see that, all right, fine. We got some good things. I could use some of these. I'm going to have to start getting better at this. I really am. And, okay, I could use that one right there. Um, 
I like more of these softer colors. <laughs> if you'll, you'll find I tend to go for some of the same stuff over and over. I'm going to try my best not to do those baggy jeans, but no promises. <laughs> I, I promise nothing. Okay, so there we go. All right, let's go ahead and take a look over at formal wear real quick. And I'm not going to go through all of the individual items right now because uh, I think pretty much it's going to be somewhat of the same, I think. I'm not quite sure. But I definitely want to go through the the actual outfits real quick. If we can go ahead and get Creative to load up for us, which it's trying its best to do. Bazoof Nazca. All right, so now that's, of course, I believe that was from the base game. Anyway, looking at some of her formal wear, we're still getting some of this as formal wear, which I don't know that I would actually count it as formal wear. We saw it already in every day. And I believe we saw this one as well. Same thing here. But then again, some of your college students are not going to really be dressing up so much for formal wear anyway. So it looks like for formal wear, we might be doing something uh, something a little bit different. I'm just going to look real quick just to make sure. I think everything else is basically the same. So yeah, we'll just have to put something together from the pack and see if we can make something that does look more like formal wear. All right, let's take a look at sleepwear real quick. Looks like for sleepwear, we did get... Now, they're calling this sleepwear right here. Garava. Not that. So they're calling that sleepwear, which, okay, I can see that, I guess. And let's see, same thing, same thing, just different design, different color schemes. And of course, your plant sims are going to keep the same outfit for pretty much everything. You could just change them up, I guess, for color. As far as athletic, you're seeing the same things that we saw before. So I'm not going to go through each and as every one of them. But I would say that something like this, of course, is going to be going for your athletic. And I'm sure there's something in the bottoms that would actually match that as well. And of course, looking at this, oh yeah, there's, there's plenty of things here. I'm not sure which one we would have to actually go through and pick them. But I'm sure oh. you can find it. Maybe mm -hmm. the one that's up there right now. I don't know. Anyway, we'll find one that actually goes with all the things that she wants to wear. And I'll try my best to make it work <laughs> somehow. All right, so let's go ahead and look at swimwear. I don't know if any swimwear came. Nope, doesn't look like we got any new swimwear. Let me just look in outfits. Ula. I don't think I looked in outfits for athletics, so I'm going to go back real quick and just make sure because I definitely want to make sure I cover it. Um, Good for outfits. Oh, yeah. But it's basically the same stuff. Still, still. So there was nothing really new out of that. All right. So swimwear, we saw nothing. And outerwear, I don't think that's really anything different either. I think it's basically more of the same. And that was kind of what I was thinking. Is one of you, using one of these as outerwear. All right. So that's pretty much it for the girls. Now, I'm going to go ahead and jump over and see if we can take a look at the guys. The guys are going to be a little bit easier. Let's just take a look real quick. And of course, you've seen this guy before. He's always in my Spotlight Showcase videos. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. All right. Well, for every day, we got some stuff for the plant sims. And this is what the plant sims are going to be wearing here at university. They definitely will need some more color because my guy does not have enough color on him to, cover, to carry that off. All right. Looking at pants, uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got. Finally, we got some new shorts. I am so tired of the same shorts that we always have in the game. So this I don't even care if they're good or not I'm just happy that we got something new alright um, probably need to get rid of this shirt real quick because it's gonna be annoying trying to look at all of this stuff with it wow I'm excited we're gonna see all this stuff too okay let me just get to a t-shirt I don't care what the t-shirt is alright ah, not you <laughs> 70s 80s and 90s one of my favorites alright let's go ahead and just put this t-shirt on here so we can see the shorts a little bit better alright come on and load it's taking its time Oh, <laughs> it knows that I like that. All right, so okay, there we go. So we got some better shorts. I like them. These are more your gym shorts, and so you know me with the basketball court. I'm gonna have them out there doing this quite a bit with that with their athletic. So oh, I like the purple. <laughs> I like the green. It's nice. I do like it. And I like the cut. It doesn't have that strange look to me. So I think I could definitely see myself using these. So guys, I think we're safe on the baggy jeans. These I love. I absolutely love those. All right, so we're going to probably be doing some new stuff. All right, baggy jeans may be taking the back seat. All right, we got some more oh. uh, stress jeans right here. Okay, that's an interesting look. I don't know that I'm really crazy about those, but, you know, they're, they're fine. Uh, I guess it would just depend on the shoes that we put with it and, you know, everything else he's got going on. But we'll, like, we'll just take a look and see. All right, so we got our just plain brown pants or kind of like a brownish orange pants. There we go. Finally got some decent ones here. All right, looks like that's all it is for the bottoms. Let me go ahead and put him back into these jeans, which I really liked. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at what he's got to wear on for the top. Okay, we've got a couple of really nice, looks like a jacket. Come on, buddy, load it up. He's tired. <laughs> He's been doing too many house reviews, so <laughs> there we go. All right, so we got our nice jacket here. That'll be great for his outerwear, which I'm sure it'll be a, an option. And 
I do like the colors. I'm really favoring the blue though quite a bit. So you might see that one pretty much. Um, this I really like too. Anything that has something a little bit unique. So I see a lot of new things. This I was excited about. I wanted to get a Letterman's jacket for my guys. So we are excited now. We're seeing the stuff we want. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know my guys are going to have all the chest hair. We're going to show it off. So there we go. We're going to be out there and proud. All right. Let's see what we got over here. We've got our little hoodies and everything. That's cool. Love the little uh, mascots on the front. So you just got to pick the one you like, the one you want, or the color scheme you want. All right, our little studious uh, nerd types. So we've got these right here. Ah, that's pretty cute. I like it. I'm not crazy about the orange, but I like the other ones. Um, okay, looking over here, love the little ties. That is too funny. And a little insignia there on the pocket. That's really cool. So they put a lot of effort into these, and I like, so far I haven't seen anything that I'm just saying, oh, I, I just couldn't even see myself using it. I can see myself using just about everything that I have seen so far. So in, in one way or another, uh -huh. it may not all happen uh -huh. in this LP, but it's going to be filtering its way out. Now, this is for maybe your professors or for your, your little college assistant, uh, your teacher's assistant, whatnot. Um, yeah, I could see myself using that a lot, even uh -huh. not in university, somewhere else. So this I like. You know I love green. So I've gotten, for, lately I've just kind of gotten on a green kick. It's always been blue, but for some reason now I'm really getting into green. All right, so there, I do like all of those. This would be really nice as far as, is this more your fraternity type maybe? You're just like your rush, the rush week and getting yourself all dressed up and whatnot. That's pretty cool. Okay, now I like this. This looks more like the 80s for me right here. Okay, love it. And I can see that one going into one of my Sims pretty soon. This looks more like your 90s grunge stuff, which is fine. Uh, it, all, it all works for me. I like that one. That one's a good one. Okay. So this is going to be hard. I thought the girls were going to be hard. I think the guys are going to be equally as, as difficult. Uh, so trying to put something together for these guys, I may be here all night, and I'm hoping this LP will actually make it out eventually. Um, it's going to be a while. Today was such a hard day for me to get this. Um, had to work, which is never fun. But, um, oh, that is really nice, too. Uh, I'm not crazy about that color, but I like that one. Um, Okay, I like that one a lot. Anyway, it took me forever to actually get the game, get it home, get it installed, and finally I'm here. Okay, pretty interesting looks. I like some of these stuff. I mean, it's stuff that I would have not expected to be in the university stuff, but I do like it, and it just keeps on going. I think the guys did not get shortchanged on this one at all because there is tons of stuff, these little hoodies and sweaters and T-shirts and whatnot. They did get quite a bit. And that's good because sometimes the guys do get slighted a little bit. And I'm tired of picking from the same things that don't seem to look right. Now, see, this is something I don't really care for. It kind of looks like it just hangs right there. And it's like it's not three-dimensional, but it is. You just, what I've noticed is it, it looks weird in Creative Sim, but it looks really good in the game. So I'm going to have to force myself to try some of these things that I think don't look okay because usually they do. They turn out just fine. Okay, and that's what he had on before, and he's got that same pattern as the girls did. Looks like they just have their version of it right here, and this is our last one. All right, so there we go. So there's quite a bit there for them, and as far as outfits, of course, we just saw that it was the, um, the plant. All right, let's go take a look at formal, and I definitely want to look at their outfits, and I'm sure that basically we've seen everything else that they've got. It looks like it's all just um, the plant sim. And I'm just going to run through real quickly, make sure there's nothing that's just standing out that we did not take a look at. I think we did, and I do want to go back over and look at shoes and accessories real quick, because I don't think we got much for accessories. Cool, cool. But let's take a look at the shoes. All right, yeah, we did get some new shoes, and we do need those as well. All right, come on, buddy, load back up, because we want to take a look at new shoes Sash with go. you. All right, not crazy about this combination right now, but I do like these shoes. They're pretty cool. Um, you can, of course, recolor any, any of these and make them look however you want to make them look. I get a feeling these are going to be those goofy ones. Oh, I like these. These I'm going to probably be using. I don't know. <gasps> yeah. You guys are going to see these on some of my guys. Trust me. These? <laughs> these are just going to make me laugh every time I see them. I'm sorry. So uh, when we get some random Sim running around town, I'm probably going to just start laughing for no reason, and that'll be it. All right. So these are pretty cool, too. Um, I do like all the shoes that they gave us, except these big ones. I'm kind of like, eh, whatever. All right, going into accessories, let's take a look and see if he got anything. Yeah, he got some glasses, which my guy's already got glasses, but let's take a look and see what these are going to look like for him. Hmm, those are some big glasses, buddy. Kind of like the ones you had on before. 
All right, I'm going to take those off of you. And let's go on down and see if there's anything else. I don't think there is because the guys don't normally get anything else. Um, oh, yeah, they did. All right, so we got some chains here. Where's it at? Can't see it. All right, so I guess i got to take the shirt off of you. Let me take the shirt off of you, and we'll just take a look and see if that actually shows up because it should. And I got, of course, like I said, I got so much stuff here. It takes it a long time to load, and we got to get all the way down to the bottom. So let's just give it a second. Hopefully, we'll get there before um, episode two. <laughs> it's coming, guys. I promise. All right, let's see. Uh, are we far enough down? I don't think so. Nope, not quite. No, I think we went too far now. All right, let's go back up here, and I just want to get this off so we can see what these chains and all these things look, what they actually look like. Man, where is just no shirt? Come on. Seriously. <laughs> Worst case, maybe we can do something like this. I thought he would have a no shirt option, but I guess he doesn't. Anyway, I guess you'd just get that in Athletic, so we can look at it later on that. Anyway, that is showing you, of course, if you look at it a little bit closer, he's got those chains around. I'm going to go down to where they were, and we're going to look at some of the other different ones you got. And, of course, you can go get a little closer. I'm not sure I would be using those. I really don't. It just kind of looks like it's, it looks like a tattoo, actually. It doesn't look like it actually lays down. So I'm probably not going to see that one in any of my guys. Now, as far as this right here, let's go ahead and move him around. He's got his little bracelets as well. And I don't know. I could try it. I usually don't. If I did, I'd probably go with the one. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll just kind of look at it and see. All right. No watches, no rings. Let's see. Nothing else down here. Nope, didn't get any of that. All right, so that goes ahead and takes care of that one. I think for formal wear, we looked at that, and I believe basically we're seeing pretty much the same. I am going to look over at Athletic and uh, we go. everything else just briefly. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at sleepwear real quick, just to make sure. And, if, of course, it's just all the same T-shirts that we saw before. Brunard and Darth. Yeah, it looks like everything is basically the same. There's Lord nothing, so. nothing usual, unusual or new. All right. Maybe you'll... No new swimwear, I don't believe. Let me just go ahead and double check. Oh, wait. These are actually could be oh. used as swimwear as well. So that's good. We could actually now have another choice, which I'm always, I'm always open for choice. And, of course, like I said, these are the ones that I was thinking definitely to use for outerwear. So I believe this blue one is already my favorite. So, so. Well, that one was. All right, so that was my favorite. And, of course, it's basically the same thing. All right, very good. So we got the guys taken care of for clothing. Now what we need to do is we need to go back to our girls. And I'm flipping back and forth just so I can shake it up a little bit. As it have. Girls are going to actually get, let's first of all take off this, take off those glasses. Those are horrible. <laughs> they do not do it for me. All right, let's get those taken off real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the hairstyles real quick. That way we can just kind of get an idea of what we have for an option. Now let's take a look. First, um, looks like there's only one new hairstyle for the girls. And wow. All right. That's pretty cool. Now she's got her earrings there, which I didn't even notice that before. So that's another accessory. I'm sorry. I just completely did not see it. But anyway, there's your hairstyle. And Okay, it's pretty cool. It's interesting. I would have never imagined it, but that's that's pretty different. Okay, now looking at hair with accessories, let's see if there's anything new that came. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's a lot for that. So more for the accessories than just for regular hairstyles. Okay, let's go ahead and come on and load. Okay, I like that, but you know what? I really wish I had gotten rid of these earrings because it's a little bit obnoxious. So, guys, forgive me. I know I'm going back and forth all the time. But we're just going to go ahead and make sure we take those out. Plus, I wanted to actually double check. Oh, I think I t we did look at them, and I just we couldn't see them because of her hair. All right, so that's okay. Let me go ahead and go back up here and just take them out. Anyway, now you've kind of got an idea that those hairs, it's just basically um, earrings with your college mascot or your college icon, uh, logo on it. All right, let's go ahead and get back up in here. Of course, you got the different color of bands. I like those. Let's see. Oh, wow. Got our dreadlocks here. And... That's pretty cool. I didn't know if I would like those or not. Actually, they do look pretty cool. I could definitely see that on one of my artist girls, and we know we're going to have one. All right, let's take a look at this one. Okay, this is actually pretty cute, just short hair, and I could see that on some one of my Sims. I'm not sure which one. I'm still now thinking, what am I going to do for them? I have no idea. Like I said, it's going to take me a while to figure out what's going to happen with these guys. All right, then we've got another one here. Okay. That's pretty cool. Um, 
all of these I could actually see using at some point or another. And of course, I can see already the plant sim. Plant sim has two different hairstyles. Okay, that does not look good. You'd have to actually get it that color because that looks pretty rough. Okay, so they got a little hat or a little um, rose flower up on the top. So that's pretty, that's pretty different. Okay, and that's basically all the hairstyles for the girls. And of course, I'm sure for, um, let's go ahead and take a look at their makeup. I don't think they have anything new, but just want to make sure that we just get everything covered. And the reason I'm doing this, not only for you guys, it's also actually for me. I want to kind of get an idea of what I have available. So when I sit down to create these guys in just a couple of minutes, I am not going in here just completely blind and like an idiot. Okay, now I did not get the Origin one that's the downloadable one because I have an issue. Origin still owes me a lot of money for something they never sent. So I didn't I didn't actually go through that. I kind of want the hard copy anyway. All right, so I don't have any of that special paint that came with it. Looks like that is all that we get for the girls for their hairstyles. Now looking at personality traits, I know we got new traits that came with this. and I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of all these real quick. So we can see them. Uh, let's see, all these are the same. We got avant-garde, and it says avant-garde sims know what's art and what's not, and don't mind letting others know. It's tough to please an avant-garde type. Avant-garde sims will benefit in the pursuit of a fine arts degree from Sims University. All right, so that's definitely going to be a trait for somebody. I'm not quite sure which. Okay, the rest of these, let's just go right on through, and I won't have to do this for the guys as well, so this just kind of will take care of it all. All right, let me go ahead and see. So far, I don't see anything new. I think there's three, two or three. I can't remember. I don't think there was that many. Um, let's see. So far, nothing new. All right, irresistible. Okay, irresistible sims are quite charming, although often, oftentimes they may get more than what they ask for. Dates will be easy to find, and others will flock to socialize with them because they're just so irresistible. That would be pretty good. I could see using that one, too. All right, look, looking on down, let's see what else we got. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, I got two, and I think there's a third one. I'm not quite sure. I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, socially awkward. All right, socially awkward sims try to fit in, but sometimes say the wrong thing at the wrong time. It's not easy being socially awkward, but it sure is awkward. All right, so let's see. Just to make sure that I didn't miss anything else, I'm just going to go all the way through to the bottom, which looks like I got them all. All right, very good. Now, as far as a lifetime wish, I know that it came with a few, uh, let's see, it got the blog artist, a successful blogger captivates their audience and leaves them yearning for the next post. It's not easy to combine witty observations and impeccable timing, but someone's got to keep the, the netizens entertained. The one who does will earn the title of blog artist. Okay, and let's see what else we got, because I know that there were more, and some of these I've never even done because I'm just too scared. <laughs> I'm scared I'll fail it. Um, let's see, some of these, uh, nothing yet. Major Master. Okay, for some, there's no limit to the amount of learning they can endure, and the thrill of class is enough to keep earning degrees. They are called Major Masters with a bag full of books and a, a caffeinated drink in hand. They're a university warrior ready to learn. they got to earn three degrees. Okay, that would be kind of cool, too. Um, I think somebody's going to have that one. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's go on down here. The perfect student. Earning a university degree is an accomplishment all in itself, but to earn one with a perfect GPA takes as much brawn as it does brains. Late nights will be spent studying, and a little luck will be needed to pass exams, but it's worth it for a perfect GPA. That may be hard. I don't know. All right. Let's go ahead and go on down. So far, we got three. Uh, reach max influence with all social groups. This is our fourth one. Being an influential sim in one group is difficult enough, but reaching max influence across three groups? That's a challenge any social sim will gladly accept. It won't be easy and there is much smoozing to do. Ah, <laughs> it left me. <laughs> but rest assured there will be comra uh, comrades to be found around every corner. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on down. Scientific specialist. So we've got five new ones so far. The universe is a mysterious place with even more mysterious rules governing it. Few can ever hope to understand such rules, but those who live vicariously by collecting and analyzing samples will earn the title of scientific specialist and tell the rest of us how the universe works. Okay. Wow. Let's see. From Street Credible. Wow, there's some more. I didn't know there was this many. Uh, for a street artist armed with a spray can, the world is their canvas, if I'd stop moving that, waiting to be painted. It takes a keen eye and a steady hand to create masterful art on the walls and ground, but a street artist wouldn't have it any other way. 
Okay, super popular. I think we already had that one before. Okay. Yeah, let me see if there's anything else that's new. Um, so far, I don't see anything new. Nope, that's it. So there we go. I think that was five or six, and that's pretty cool. We got quite a few. Now, as far as favorites and whatnot, let's go ahead and take a look and see. Oops, I want to see what foods we got. Um, I can't really tell because I don't know which ones they are, but I know there were new foods. Um, I don't really know for sure offhand which one it is, but I believe new foods did show up in here. So unfortunately, I can't really tell you because I'm clueless. All right, we're going to go ahead and go back over to the guys real quick because I want to actually take a look at their hairstyles before we actually go in and I start creating dark. the sims. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at you real quick. And as far as your hair, we're looking at without accessories. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so he's got some dreadlocks too. Ooh, I like them. I didn't think I was going to like the dreadlocks at all, but I may be using those. Okay, and then we've got this one right here. <laughs> I do like this one too. So far, two for two. I'm really happy with the hairstyle so far. Gives it a completely different look. Okay, and then we got this one. Um, it could work depending on the guy and depending on uh, what group he's going to be in. Yeah, that one could work too. It's not bad. And of course, we've got the one for the plant sim, which you know it doesn't really make sense unless you're actually using it in the green color. So probably not going to be using that unless we actually just run across one in the town which I'm hoping we will we won't have to make any okay as far as hair with accessories for the guys looks like there's only three okay I'm liking this um, and I think I'm sure you could actually colorize that thing you can customize the uh, the hat as well but I do like this one too so far I'm loving the all the, the creative sim items that come with this expansion pack I'm very very excited about I think there's a lot of stuff to use now I'm gonna go ahead and take a look I don't think anything changed with eyebrows I believe that never stays that always stays the same but facial hair alright we got new facial hair so let's go ahead and take a look you know I like to put facial hair on my guys man that gives him a completely different look now let's go ahead and match the hair color so we can see huh it's very faint but it's, it's different I don't know that I'm gonna use it or not but it's always an option what about this one right here? Whoa! <laughs> I don't think we're going to be using that one. Um, I'm sure there are people that will have a really good use for it. Mm, not me. I don't think so. All right. And then, of course, this one obviously is for the plant sims. So if we happen to get a plant sim or we make one, we can do it. I don't think you can make one. I'm not sure. But anyway, we do have that option as well. So going back, let me just go ahead and take him back out because I don't think I can deal with him. <laughs> Definitely not with that one. All right, we'll just go ahead and take him back where he was. All right, so there we go. So it looks like that is it. And as far as personality, it's going to be the same as the girls. They're going to have the same options. So there's really nothing else that I have to worry about for them. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut out of here. I'm going to get my Sims ready. And then I'm going to introduce you to the guys and girls that are going to take us through this LP. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, guys, it took me forever. And when I say forever, I do mean forever to actually get this all going. Uh, not just because I couldn't pick, figure out what I wanted to do, but because I kept, kept getting interrupted by you never know what. Anyway, uh, the first sim we've got, we're going to have four sims. We're going to have two girls and two guys. Nobody's related. Nobody is hooked up. It's all just four random, random strangers. Well, not quite. This is Madison Walters. And Madison... I'm going to go ahead and give you just her personality rundown real quick. She's artistic. She is. She has avant-garde as her trait, lucky. She's rebellious, and she has star quality. Her actual lifetime wish is to be street credible, which means she's got to reach level 10 of the street art skill and create seven masterpiece murals. Um, <laughs> don't know how we're going to do it. Anyway, it's uh, her favorite food is porcini risotto. She likes dark wave for her music, and her favorite color is red. And uh, let's see, her, her voice. Narzi Benuktal. There you go. And her astrological sign is, of course, Virgo. All right. Now, the next sim that we have in the house is right here. And this one, <laughs> come on up and load up. All right. This is Spencer Holt. And Spencer is, he's kind of our little geek in training here. He's brave, believe it or not. Uh, he is a computer whiz. He's got a green thumb. He's handy. And he's socially awkward. So I had to give him that trait. It just seemed to be the perfect one. And he's going to be the perfect student. So that means he has to earn a university degree with a perfect GPA. It's going to be hard to do, but we're going to try it. As far as his likes, he likes Ratatouille. His favorite music is Soul. He likes the color Violet. Let a gear a V to C to. <laughs> that's, his, uh, that's his voice. And then his sign is, of course, Scorpio as well. Uh, let's see. Going on down, we have our another girl. We have Blair Gibbons. And Blair, come on and load Get on up. Joggy. 
Blair's personality is a little different. She is artistic, she's a bookworm, she's friendly, she's a schmoozer, and she's a workaholic. Now her actual lifetime wish is to be the blog artist. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to try it. She's supposed to reach level 10 in the social networking skill and create a five-star blog. I'm kind of nervous about it, but you know we're going to go with it. Her favorites include sushi. She likes to. Uh, she likes songwriter for her type of music, and hot pink is her favorite color. Wazogi denja miskubuvi. There's Blair. Her sign is Aries. Okay, now my last one, and I had to do the hair because I just couldn't resist. I had to do it on both the girls and the guys. Mardunsa. This is our sim, and his name is Dalton Burrows. And Dalton is uh, he's charismatic. He's disciplined. He's a genius. He's irresistible and he is perceptive. His lifetime goal is to reach max influence with all social groups. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory and it's going to be a tough one. All right. Got to turn him around just so you can see the dreads. I just had to. And he's the only one that I could put of my guys with, so, with uh, facial hair. And that's a big thing for me. <laughs> All right, so here we go. His favorites include grilled salmon. His favorite music is classical, and his favorite color is blue. And his voice... Yapso Simshiwani do. Right there. And his astrological sign is Capricorn. So there we go. That is our household. That's who we're going to be following. It is Madison, Spencer, Blair, and Dalton. Let's go ahead and get those guys ready and get them moved in. I'll show we you the hometown go. that we're going to be living in. And I don't have a clue what we're going to be doing. I just know we got to save some money. Because these guys have all got to be able to figure out how to actually save uh, and go to college. All right, no relationships, nobody's friends, nobody's related. My backstory is going to be that these guys were part of the the town orphanage, and the orphanage actually they aged out. Nobody actually ended up adopting these four guys. They finally aged out and now they are on their own. They have a little bit of money that has been given to them, and so they got to figure out what they're going to do with their lives. So. Let's hope and pray they do it right. All right, we're going to go ahead and continue. We're not going to worry with relationships. I'm not really planning on them dating together. I kind of want to see if they come up with boyfriends and girlfriends in university. And to me, that would be more fun. But I wanted to try the different ones. I wanted to get that many just because I went back and forth. The first one was going to do two, then I was going to do three, then four. I just couldn't decide. Finally, I just said four so we can have more opportunities. Now, the town that you're looking at right here is Barnacle Bay. And I chose Barnacle Bay just because I haven't done any LPs or anything in this town. So I figured, why not? We'll just go ahead and give it a try. The trick of this is going to be trying to find a house they can afford. Now, this little house right here is a one bedroom. and we could get it furnished for 15 or unfurnished for 12 but it's only one uh, over here there's this one right here and we could we could get into it but nobody's gonna be able to go to college because we're not gonna have the money so I'm gonna have to skip it even though I wouldn't mind it is a two-bedroom um, I don't think there's really much out here I have customized this town with different um, venues different community lots and I've done everything I can do to do that but unfortunately there's just not a whole lot of inexpensive homes but we're gonna see what we can come up with uh, and I haven't played in this town in a while. I've played a couple of times in this town. And I really liked it, but it's been a while since I've done it. Okay, that was the Sandy Nest. Nope, it's too expensive. This one is actually a pretty good price. It's uh, it's a one bat, a one bedroom, one bath, and we could probably work it somehow or another and cram bunk beds in there. Um, so I'm thinking that may be our option. But then there's also this one over here. It's eleven thousand. Let's just go ahead and take a look real quick and just make sure because I know we're going to be spending all of our money on university and they don't really have much. Ooh, that's a tiny house, uh, but it may be the one because you know we got to keep the finances down. All right, we could probably squeeze in. We could squeeze in two sets of bunk beds if we had to, and I think this would be the one to do. I'm not going to really worry too much about um, furniture and everything right now because we're not going to stay here long. We're going to try to get out of town as quickly as we can. I did put in the casino, and it's right next door, which is good. That way, if we don't have enough money, we'll find it. All right, we're going to take this house. We're going to take it unfurnished and we'll go ahead and purchase it. And let's go ahead and get on in. Now, of course, I've got Seasons and Supernatural, so the Weatherstone is going to spawn. I'll try to stop it so we can actually go over there. But I know there's going to be some new interactions, of course, with uh, University. And I haven't seen them, but I've heard. So... I'm keeping myself ready. <laughs> I have no idea what to expect. Again, like I said, I'd never played Sims 2 University, so I have no idea. I never played Sims 2 at all. All right. Okay, wait a minute. All kinds of stuff. It says, check out your smartphone. Your phone has been upgraded, and you can now send text, use social networking skill apps, wow, swap phone skins, and even has an improved camera. Be sure to use the phone to check out the new social groups. All right, well, we're going to have to do that. 
All right, and I missed the Weatherstone. You know I was, you knew I was going to. All right, the Weatherstone is coming up in town. Let's see, please be in a decent place. Um, <laughs> doesn't look like it's in the greatest of places, but it could be worse, I think. All right, just trying to load up, and I still have it on pause just because I wanted to make sure we found out where it was. I believe this is the police station, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, police station. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Now, none of my Sims are actually supernaturals. I'm going to go ahead and pause again so we can get back to our house. I decided to keep all of my Sims as humans. We're not playing any Supernaturals whatsoever. So at this point, they're going to go ahead and we're going to see what happens. Uh, it says right here, anything? Nothing. I want to see if anybody shows up. Oh, okay, that's all the stuff we normally get about property ownership, which Play is fine. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. They're now. already going to start interacting, and they kind of they kind of liked each other. Uh-oh. Well, he's irresistible, so of course that's going to happen. Wow, they've already got a pretty good relationship. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> These guys, hmm. looking at their ages, not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> All right, these guys are pretty young, so okay. Now, I don't know if something is going to happen or if we have to click on anybody, but I was kind of thinking that we were going to get some kind of a alert or something. Maybe not. Okay, we're getting all this different stuff here, which is fine, but apparently it's not going to work for us. Alright, I'm getting all these alerts that people are being hired and things are happening, which it's fine, they can do that. That is no problem whatsoever. Okay, listening to a ghost story. He's going to stream some video? Alright, or no, she is. She's streaming video. Hey, well that's pretty nice. You go right ahead and do that. But, I don't have anything right now that I can work on. Uh oh. What is that? Somebody's showing up. Maybe it's our neighbors. Nope, that looks like the mascot. I knew something was from the... Um, from the Ooh, producer's chat. I knew there was something there. All right, so Nicole Davidson, the university mascot, is here. And what are we going to say? Hi, your friendly Sims University mascot is here to spread some school spirit. I also bring the university welcome wagon. The welcome kit, which has been use which has useful university information and fun freebies. You guys stop for a minute because you're going to drive me nuts. i got to figure out what's going on. This is all new. All right, so we do not need to ignore this guy because he's got all this kind of stuff. We could either get university freebies or take the aptitude test, and that is exactly what we're going to do. We need to figure out what we can do and uh, <laughs> what we should do. So I'm going to get them all over here to go ahead and take the test real quick. I'm not making any promises for any wishes until we actually do this. Because my whole thing is we got to get to college. Somehow or another, we gotta go to university. <laughs> okay. All right. So it looks like at least Spencer's taking the test. Come on, guys. What are you gonna do? No, you need to go over here and take a test. I guess it's one at a time. So you go ahead and get started. All right. Go ahead. Get your test going on. They're gonna beat you guys. All right. Go I don't know. I assume that this is actually going to tell us whether we can go or not. If we can't go, I'm going to be pretty depressed. But I would hope that we could. All right, guys. Get in there and take your test. Oh, finally, they're all doing it. Now, we could accept some gifts, and we could actually... Oh, wait. Here we go. Uh, congratulations on your Sims University Aptitude Test score. Enrolling in university is as simple as using the phone or the computer. Okay, good to know. Um, no scholarship awarded for Spencer. He should consider improving his skills and career progress to earn a university scholarship. All right, but he scored, let's see, he scored pretty high for technology and for science. He actually is pretty much dead even. Um, he's got six credits towards each. So, all right, that's good. Um, at least we got some credits already earned. You want to enroll in university? You're going to do it because you're going. All right, let's see if anybody else gets a scholarship because I really don't want to have to spend all the money that we got. All right, you definitely need to do that. I said I wasn't going to promise anything, but I will promise certain things. Okay, um, who is this? This is for Madison. 
says no scholarship awarded. <laughs> My guys are not doing good, but she did get uh, some credit in fine arts, and that's actually what I wanted to, for her to do. So she's actually both of them are really where I wanted them to be. I didn't know whether I wanted him to go tech or science, but I definitely wanted her to go fine arts, and so she's already got six credits towards that. So at least we got something. She didn't do as well on her test, but she did okay. All right, yeah, Madison, you're going. <laughs> whether you like it or not, you're going. All right. And what do we got here? Where are you going, buddy? I don't know where he's... Buta. You got my buta. <laughs> I'll tell you, why don't you go ahead and get some freebies at least while you're here. And then you can do the same thing. All right, let's see. This is for Blair. And Blair got nothing. No scholarship, no credit, nothing. She doesn't even show anything at all as far as a uh, high aptitude for anything. So, Blair, <laughs> we're going to be working on you for a while. Oh, man. <laughs> Something tells me I did not do so good with him, with this group, but that's all right. You know, I can always do it again. Okay, and then, all right, here we go. He got a partial scholarship. Way to go, Dalton. He's my boy. All right, he will receive 1,000 simoleons per term the next time he enrolls for university. He actually is working towards science and medicine and communications. That really wasn't where I was expecting him to go. I kind of thought he was going to get an aptitude towards business um, or physical education, but I didn't make him athletic, so I guess it really wouldn't have happened. He's a lot stronger towards communications, so he may end up doing that. And I was thinking that she was going to. She may end up going to business. I don't know. So pretty good. All right, he's going to get enrolled in that as well. Tell you what, why don't you guys go ahead and get your freebies? You go ahead and get your freebies. <laughs> We're not going to pass up anything free. Go ahead and do what you can do. Has everybody got them? Madison, I don't think you got yours yet. <laughs> get your stuff. All right, good. Everybody got their stuff. All right, Spencer has some sweet new gear. He picked up a university banner and a cool new T-shirt. Looks like, um, yeah, they all got it. All right, sounds good. Can you guys interact with this person? Uh, you can, but that's not what we want to do. Okay, you guys are now in. You're now ready to go. Let's go ahead and. Oh, that's cool. Your we got the new phone. All right, you know wacky? what? My boy oh, already. He made so me. He impressed me. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna enroll in university. And I wonder if you can do this. If you have to do this for each one independently, or if you have to do it. I don't know. I have no clue. Well, we got twelve thousand dollars, so I think we're gonna be okay. I'm not gonna spend any money on. Um, on the furniture and whatnot. Oh, good. We can do it all at one time, it looks like. All right. So for Dalton, it's going to cost us... I want to go for two terms. And we're going to do that for everybody. Let's see. How many credits do we have to have? Dalton, do we have to enroll right now? Man. All right. Well, then he's going communications because he had more. He already had six out of the 48 see what else did he I originally had him going for business which means he has nothing so yeah we'll go ahead and push him for um, for communications that'll be good it's gonna cost him a thousand fifty all right well that's a lot of money but we could stay with 12 credits or can we go oh you just have 12 or 24 we're gonna be pretty busy if we do 24 but I don't want to be a slacker oh that's a lot of money and if it's gonna cost he's the only one with the scholarship two four six <sighs> We're going to end up spending a lot of money. We may need to go light. I don't know. I really don't know. Let's go ahead and just load them in there. We can always go back and change them, I think. All right. You're going to go for Madison, your fine arts. So let's get you up here for fine arts. And if I try to get you for... Okay, well, you know, that's not terrible. That's not terrible. Um, you have no financial aid. All right, Spencer, let's go ahead and see what you got. So far, we have not... We've spent quite a bit of money. Spencer, I was wanting you, you're really dead in the middle, so I could go either way. And I'm thinking what we're going to do with you is go technology. And we'll go with you right here in the middle of the road. Um, I don't know how busy that's going to make us, but we're going to try it. All right, Blair, <laughs> poor thing. <laughs> you are just, you're going to be clueless. You're going to be my struggle this whole time. Um, I'm thinking that we ought to just stick with business because it's, cause it's right there in the middle of the road. And that way you can you can figure it out. If you change your major halfway through, maybe that'll be okay. All right, going to four, um, 24. Wow. College is expensive. <laughs> That's true in real life too. But here we are. We're going to be spending almost all of our money on these guys. And I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not by putting 24. But we're going to be busy. So that'll make it, well, should we do that? 
I'm just kind of second guessing. I guess you can always drop out, but then you lose all that money, and it's a lot to lose on. All right, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and do it. And if we struggle and we go crazy, it's my fault because I'm clueless. And I'm just going to go right there because it's not a slacker and it's not an overachiever. We're right in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and say yes. Are we wanting these guys to go? You bet. Let's do it. Okay, so we got some money for that. Looks like we got, what, $400? Right. <laughs> and we just lost $7,200. You just enrolled in university. Enrolling in uni university also earned your household some extra simoleons to help pay for tuition. Bongo. All right. You guys? Oh, they're packing up. And they're not, they haven't even walked into their house, but that's all right. You guys are ready to head out. Moving van is here, and we are ready to go. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm going to stop here for a minute, guys, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and when we come back for episode two, we're going to actually be in university. So we're going to pick up right here with them on their way out. So I'll be back in episode two. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.